is uh, Tim Kawakami, columnist, San Jose Mercury News. Let me start with a poll question for you, Tim. Sure. You're going to bet a week's pay on this team not making the playoffs. Who would you pick? Any team in the NFL? Yeah. Man, I'm going to make some Raider fans unhappy with me, which is a big surprise. But how in the world are the Raiders going to make the playoffs? I, I cannot imagine. I, I feel like I'm being extra positive when I'm forecasting five wins for them. So, Dan, uh, I think I'll say the Raiders are not going to make the playoffs. I just cannot see how that's going to happen. Why is Terrell Pryor the starter? Mostly, I believe it's because Matt Flynn can't be. Uh, that's not the way you want to pick your quarterback. But I think they kind of brought Matt Flynn in, you know, when Carson Palmer had to go and said, okay, you're the guy. If you don't show us, you're not the guy. (laughs) And Matt Flynn came in and showed them he's not the guy, especially with an offensive line that can't block anybody. And Flynn doesn't look like he can operate under those situations, and most quarterbacks can't. He really can't. Uh, Not a great arm. He's going to throw the ball to the wrong team. Uh, Looks a little shaky there in the preseason. It's not going to be Matt Flynn. So if it's not Matt Flynn, who's the next guy up? It's Terrell Pryor, who can move a little bit, who gives the fan base some hope. Not going to be the most efficient quarterback in the whole world. Not going to, you know, go on those great, you know, real precise drives or throw 30 touchdowns. I don't think there's any expectation of that. I think he's going to run around, see what they can do, kind of buy time, uh, maybe grow as a quarterback, and down the road they get another one, or maybe show that he's the guy. But it's mostly that Matt Flynn isn't the guy, and they guys get the next guy up. And then after prior, it might be Matt McGloin, undrafted free agent at the Penn State. I think they like him. They're just, I think the decision was the guy they thought it was going to be isn't the guy. Now they got to go to the next guy. I think as, as Raider fans probably want to know, you're just looking for signs that say we've turned the corner here. Yep. And, it, and it seems like you're turning a corner, but you're really in a square. You just keep going around and around and around and around. Yeah, you know, they got to get a quarterback, Dan. I mean, they've got to get a quarterback. Carson Palmer kind of was the leftovers from the previous regime, and he was, it wasn't going to be him. And Carson Palmer decided it wasn't going to be him, but he's 32, 33 years old. By the time that they're any good, if they're ever any good, it isn't going to be him. You got to figure out who the quarterback's going to be. So I think this is a positive development, at least to say you're eliminating some people. You're 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 not going to get stuck on a guy who isn't <laughs> going to be the guy. Prior, you know, I think there's a percentage chance, maybe not a large one, that he is the guy, or maybe he's so bad, and whoever else you got on the roster are so bad, you get in position, you're going to draft Teddy Bridgewater next year. You know, at least get an idea of where you are instead of pretending that you're somewhere that you're not. Figure out how you're going to get your quarterback, and they all. You know, the other thing they decide is who's going to pick the quarterback. Is it going to be the current general manager? Is it going to be Dennis Allen? So these things have to be decided. It's not a great situation, but it's better than kind of telling yourself lies about where you are. Figure out where you really are. Get yourself a real quarterback down the road. He's Tim Kawakami, San Jose Mercury News columnist. Uh, the Niners all in on Kaepernick, but tell me how it goes wrong for the Niners this year. Well, if Kaepernick gets hurt, for sure, you know, they don't have Colin Kaepernick off the bench like they did last year when Alex Smith got hurt. They they really, and they're almost basically as much as Jim Harbaugh will ever acknowledge a weakness, they're acknowledging it that they don't have a real backup that they feel good about by not playing Kaepernick very much in the preseason, by not running the read option in, in the preseason so he doesn't get hit. I'm sure they're going to run it in the, in the regular season. I think they're working on it, but they sure didn't show it to anything publicly. Um, they don't want him to take excess hits. If, if Kaepernick goes out for a game or two, it's not like Colt McCoy, they feel like, is, or I think anybody in the NFL would feel like, certainly nobody in Cleveland would feel like he's going to go out and win your games, that defense is going to have to win him games, or the running game is going to have to win games if it's Colt McCoy. So Kaepernick is a big issue. I mean, you know, we didn't know how good Kaepernick was. I don't think the 49ers knew how good Kaepernick was as a backup last year, but they found out. They don't have anything like that, any prospect like that coming after Kaepernick this year as the backup. But so. if Alex Smith was was dishonest and didn't talk about having concussion or concussion-like symptoms, where, where are the Niners now if Alex Smith, who was, I think, leading the league yep. you know, in, in passer rating, if you buy into that at the time, but he said, look, I, I, I have to come – I have a concussion here. If he, if he lies like most guys do, where are the Niners? I think Alex Smith is probably still starting quarterback, Dan. I really do. I mean, I think there would be some question about it because they were looking at Kaepernick down the road no matter what. I don't think they were looking at it right then. And everybody I talked to who was telling me the truth tells me they didn't know Kaepernick was this good. They weren't sure. Maybe Harbaugh, but he doesn't tell us anything of what he's privately thinking. 
there wasn't a lot of confidence that, that Kaepernick was better than Alex Smith last year. Turned out he was. So, if, if, yeah, if, if Alex Smith is still playing, he's still completing 70% of his passes. He might not have, but if he, if he still is, he goes into this year's camp as the number one quarterback. I don't think there's a question about that. He might have gotten beaten out, though, by Kaepernick. You know, it, it, it's hard to tell, but I think he probably would be the starting quarterback going into this season. And, and that's a very interesting question to go through. And would they be better off with Kaepernick? You know, it's a lot of things changed all of a sudden for the four ers yeah. but I'll give Har- Harbaugh credit for doing that. He made it on the fly. It was the right decision, and the, 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 the team's pretty well set up for the next five, ten years because he made that decision. Made clarity. Alex Smith is now in Kansas City. Good to visit with you, Tim. Thanks for getting up early. You got it, Dan. All right, Tim Kalkami, San Jose Mercury News. The Dan Patrick Show, weekday mornings on Audience.